Welcome, everybody. Um, I'm going to talk about the um, main outcomes at QUT of the SDF project, um, which we're calling, still calling Service Broker, because that was the name it was given at the very start of, of um, Smart Services CRC, and USDL, the Unified Service Description Language. So there's a lot of text for you. Um, basically, we are trying to work in an environment where um, services metadata, uh, which people use to investigate um, portfolios of services and um, a whole lot of different requirements from different partners, um, have to date not really been facilitated by any kind of international standard for what um, kinds of metadata people would want to use to describe services. Uh, in the past, initiatives like UDDI have just provided a framework for storing and retrieving arbitrary data about services. Um, so basically, we're trying to pursue um, the kinds of things like technical services uh, within a middleware environment and government services at a very high level of detail that are pertinent to citizen users of those services, and things like repositories of existing implementations of um, banking and other kinds of services which are ready for reuse and adaptation within environments like Infosys. Um, so currently we've got a mishmash of things that have come in lots of different file formats, um, many of which are just designed for printing out and for people to use on paper. Um, so what we want to do is extend the work that we've been working on um, so that we can create something that's equivalent to an LDAP kind of environment, X500 type environment, where there are lots of common metadata types that people can use to describe services rather than organizations and individuals. Um, and then those things can be extended where necessary. So USDL, the universal, <laughs> started off being called a universal services description language. Um, I objected to the name when I first started working on it because universal is always a failed claim. Um, so it's now become the unified service description language. Um, the idea is that we um, create a model. Now, on the uh, left-hand side of the screen there is um, a snapshot of what we call the USDL 2.0 meta model. For those of you who aren't uh, object-oriented people, a meta model is just a way of, of specifying the kinds of attributes um, that you want to choose to represent um, information. Now, the idea is that we want to cover services that range from human-oriented to very technically-oriented services, and we want to talk about their stakeholders and the environments in which they're deployed. Um, so we've got three core um, perspectives in the model. One is organizational, that is, who owns the service, who participates in it, um, who runs it, um, who are the contact people for it. Um, operational details, like where do, where do I find the interface for it, what operations does it have, what kinds of parameters does it take. Um, if, it's not, if it's a human-oriented service, where can I access the service? Um, and technical things like what platforms it deployed on, which machine does it live on, and that sort of stuff. But then we also want to talk about the pricing of services, the guarantees of quality of service um, that might be encapsulated in service level agreements, what kind of security um, parameters it has for access, and the like. Um, so basically, the initiative uh, that was known as USDL has been taken by SAP, who we spent the last year or so uh, developing on a very bare-bones framework. Um, and they are turning the USDL initiative into something that lives outside SAP in a um, pseudo-independent, what, what people usually think of as a de facto standards body. Um, it's going to be known as the Internet of Services. Um, the URL is on the bottom of the screen there if anyone's interested in following it up after they get a copy of the slides. Um, it's something to be run like an OMG-type organization, OASIS, or one of the other kinds of uh, de facto standards bodies that you might be aware of. 
Um, so the aim is that SAP would like this, because there is a dearth of standard metadata for services, SAP wants to make sure that they don't uh, end up specifying something that lives inside their organization and then all their competitors will be afraid to use it. So they, uh, okay. So I've talked way too much about my first few slides um, and I'm supposed to finish now, but um, I will just talk about the fact that we're currently working on a repository as a service. In the past, we've built um, something by hand to feed back the um, information that came out of Suncorp, who was, use, who was looking at providing us with a case study. And now we're going to um, gen genericize this technology so that um, people can use it as a web service uh, and not have to actually deploy our technology inside their organization in order to make use of access to standard metadata repositories. Um, so I'll finish at that point. Thanks.